Hi guys, and welcome back to our Packly Ever After video diaries. Right, today we're going to be fluking. I did say fluking. We're going to be fluking them for liver fluke. And also, since uh, we've got them in, I've noticed that there's a bit of a mineral deficiency going on. So I'll show you what that's all about. Let's get started. <laughs> For the mineral deficiency, we're going to be using Ovifrive and Copper, uh, which we get from Carl's Billington's. And for the Fluke, we're going to be using Fluke either. So when we first saw them, a few of the girls had kind of uh, kind of losing hair and some patches of their skin. Uh, because there's no scabs or sores or anything like that, uh, it looks kind of like a little bit of a thumbprint. Uh, so because of that, it's always an indication of a, a mineral deficiency. So we're going to cover them with some copper today. So hopefully that helps them out. So as we get them in, we're going to be doing them a full health check just to kind of see where they're up to. So we'll be checking their weight, body scoring them, uh, seeing, you know, if they've gained, lost, what that could be an indication of, just to make sure they're on the right trip. And also their eye colour. So eye colour could be a sign of uh, anything underlying, like anemia, which could be caused by any parasites. Uh, so we'll be checking underneath just to see, you know, hopefully that's nice and red. Let's see. So the first thing we know is Vulcan. He's got two big lumps on his jaw. That could be an indication of his teeth coming through, though. If, they, if it's on one, jaw, one side of the jaw only, it could be a, a gum infection. So we're just going to check his eye colour. They don't usually like having their eyes looked at. They might freak out. Sometimes they've got to hold, well, sometimes they've got to hold their ears to keep them still. Basically, you basically push their eye in and pull their eyelid down. There we go. So he is an, a three, which is a middle ground. You can also look at the gums, um, but eyes are the best to check out. Then we do some body scoring. We basically feel their body, the length of the body. We sort of want to feel midway. Feel a bit of fat. He's a body score three. He can feel his ribs. Look at his back end. So he's in good condition. So all we're going to do is give him a bit of fluke and stuff. You basically put your thumb in his corner of his mouth. Open it up. And then spray it. And then tickle his tongue with the pub. Let him swallow it. He has got a bit of a, a bit of a zinc deficiency or a copper deficiency. Form in his corner of his mouth. Over up. He's being a good boy. He's being a good lad. That in. And then tickle his tongue. You might cough a little bit at that one. Doesn't taste great. Okay, so we can let these two out. Flo is a carol armor. She's awesome. She's only a baby. Okay, so what we're talking, body score wise, she is a huge four. So you can see that deficiency. When we talk about it, it looks like a thumbprint. There's lots of little lines, sort of like a little prune. So yeah, mineral deficiency. So Flo is probably the biggest llama I've got. She's huge. Most llamas I've got are all carol llamas, the majority of them, and they've got some size on them. Uh, and I get thrown about. Um, so sometimes it's easier to set up a smaller pen. And so I'm putting the hurdles together now, and me and Ellie will get them inside the pen. The only issue with pens is, as in like a, a crush, is when they jump about, you've got a chance of getting kicked and squashed a little bit. But... Um, I've been doing this a long time, it's safe. I know what I'm doing. And yeah, it helps me out a little bit. It helps me control the llamas and make sure they're safe and they're not hurting themselves. And uh, I don't like clinging onto their necks to keep them still. So this is the best way to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, she's a body skull. That's just fat, she's five. Big girl. No fighting? Good girl. I spoke too soon. Yeah, good colour. Two. Tickle, tickle. She's not swallowed. Cool on, girl. Swallow it. That's the word. She's got some sharp teeth in there, aren't you? So this is the nice tasting one, I'm afraid. I've not even started yet. Drenching guns do come in better for these type of things much. Mm -hmm. well, well, well. Okay, can let it out. So what is liver fluke? Liver fluke is a parasite. It's actually an eternal parasite carried by water snails. Most things that graze can get liver fluke like sheep, goats, cows, but you can find it in alpacas, rabbits, horses, deers and pigs, and probably many more. Um, a lot of my sites are in the Lay District, it's quite a wet area. So I always routinely fluke my alpacas and llamas. 
especially if it's a wet summer. They also have a lake uh, at Base Cabin North Lakes. So, yeah, I always treat you regular. But if you're concerned that your alpaca might have fluke, it's important that you get them treated. Send a fecal count, fecal test off to the vets. He'll tell you if they've got fluke or not. But a good indication is his eye colour, the membrane, in the just underneath the eye. If it looks pale, it could have liver fluke, so it's always important to treat. And keep an eye on your alpaca. Um, once they've got fluke, they can go downhill pretty quickly. Always speak to your vets uh, before you treat your alpacas for fluke. It's good to make a plan. You don't want to be using the same drug over and over again. Basically, your alpacas and llamas will get immune to the drugs you're giving them. So speak to your vet, he'll make a plan for you and make sure you're using different products at different times. So that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, found it interesting. Uh, please stay tuned for more. Please like, share, uh, subscribe, follow, all that nonsense. And uh, yeah, it's much appreciated. So see you on the next episode. Over and out. So this is a nice tasting one, I'm afraid. Uh, I've, I've not even started yet. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Uh, got a few alpacas here, let's get them in first. Come on, that way. Ah, oh, we only need one though, so I'm not, I've not lost them yet. Head butt. Alright, we'll start again. Apart from the head butt. So, hey, you've got a black eye now.